Do the indicated operations and simplify if possible. x squared minus 1 divided by 3x minus 3, all divided by x plus 1. Another way we can write this is as x squared minus 1 divided by 3x minus 3 times 1 divided by x plus 1. Writing it this way will make it easier for us to factor things out. Now the first thing we want to do is to simplify the left hand side. So x squared minus 1 can be written as x plus 1 times x minus 1. Then on the bottom we can factor out a 3 which would leave us with 3 times x minus 1. And that whole thing is still going to be multiplied by 1 over x plus 1. Then this can be simplified. There's multiplying by x minus 1 on top and dividing by x minus 1 on the bottom. So those two terms cancel each other out. The same can be said for the x plus 1 and the x plus 1. If you multiply and divide by the same thing, they cancel each other out. So after we do all the cancellation, we are left with 1 third.